Generics are the most powerful feature of C Sharp. Generics were introduced in C Sharp 2.0 and, by using generics, we can define type safe data structures without committing to actual data types. This results in a significant performance boost and higher quality code because you get to reuse data processing algorithms without duplicating type specific code. A generic class can be defined using the angle brackets. Let us go to Visual Studio and see how we can create our first generic class. So in here I'll write public class. I will name the class test and we said that we need to use the angle brackets to define a generic class. Now in here I will just write T which stands for type. Because we said that in a generic class we don't need to define the type because you define the type when you initialize an object using the generic classes. Then inside here let us define a property. So for that we write prop. We define the type to be T. So the same like the T that we have in the class name and we name it to be value. Next, let us define a method. So we write in here public. We define the return type of the method to be void. Details, the name. Then inside curly brackets, we write console.write line. Using the dollar sign, then double quotes, we display the parameter type. So parameter type. And by using the type of method, so type of the t and then we display the value as well so the value for that we use the value property if you want to shorten this method you can just remove the curly brackets in here write goes to and remove this other one from here and save the changes now let us create an object by using the generic class inside the main method so in line 11 write test but now we need to define the type of the T. So let us write in here string. And then first test is equal to new test string. So in here we have defined that the T is of type string. So this way the value has the type string. Let us write in here first test dot value. And if we hover over the value, we see that it's of type string. So this is a string. Let us use the details method to see the results. So for that we write in here first test dot details and that's it. Now we can use the same class but we can change the type. So let us write in here test and this time let us define the t to be of type integer. Second test is equal to new and we see that now integer is the type of t. So if I write in here second test dot value and we hover over the value, it is of type integer. So the T has integer type now because we define the T in here to be integer. This is equal to 5. Let us use the same method over the second test object. So second test dot details. To see the result, press Ctrl F5. And in here we are going to see that the first parameter is of type string, the second one is of type integer. Then for the first one we see that the value is this is a string and for the second one is number 5. But why should we use generics? There are a lot of benefits in using generics. Like for example, casting is not required for accessing each element. Client code that uses generics is type safe during the execution, but most importantly code is not duplicated for multiple types of data. And of course in C-sharp we have different built-in collection classes that are generic. So for example one of them is the list class. If we go to our Visual Studio and we write in here list, so we see that we need to define a T in here which stands for the type of the element. So let us write in here string. If you right click over the list and then go to the pick definition, we see that this class is a generic one. Other generic collections in C-sharp are dictionary and sorted list. 